Let me just let me just say something. I really I really want to say this and then I'm done. There's an unprofitable servant. There are servants that are unprofitable. And the scripture says, when you give, don't give out of necessity or grudgingness, but be a cheerful giver. If you are not a cheerful servant, you will be unprofitable. And when you become a servant, you will be a friend of God. There's too many of us in ministries that don't know God. And when you become a servant leader, you become a servant of power. People are hungry and they need to be fed. But they cannot be fed by power hungry leaders. They need to be fed by the power of a servant. And the servants must be abiding in the call of God. Everybody has an anointing. Many are called, but there are few. There are some apostles. Some. Everybody. There's only some. And then from the sound, there's only a few. And the Bible says, the greatest shall be the servant of all. So I speak to whoever, to whomever is being consecrated, ordained, and elevated. And I speak to whomever is in ministry. Your greatest anointing is to be the servant of all. And in my conclusion, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. Moses did his thing. Stop trying to imitate the Moses. generation of the Joshua's. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. But you won't do what Moses do. Do you? Joshua. His name means Jehovah is salvation. And as a servant to Moses, he was also the soldier of the Lord. Joshua, a servant leader. Joshua, a tested leader. Joshua, a rewarded leader. And then Joshua can maintain as a servant leader. Let me say it one more time. Joshua was a servant leader. Exodus 24. Joshua was a tested servant in Numbers, the 14th chapter. But in Numbers 14, Joshua was also a rewarded servant. And Joshua maintained his call and became and always remained a servant leader. Bishop elect, this is Golgotha's Hill. Because they receive the servant, they celebrate the servant, then they crucify the servant. And what makes you the greatest servant is when you invite them to your resurrection. Because it is imminent that if you maintain being a servant leader, you will have a resurrection. Stand with me. I want every ordained leader to stand with me. Every ordained leader, just stand with me. God, make us world changers. 
help us to be trailblazers and not pathfinders. Help us to do something that's never been done in ministry. Help us to bring people to Christ because they see our servanthood. I pray for Chief Apostle Robinson right now in the name of Jesus. Keep his body healed. Keep his mind alert. That he deals with this August body of believers. That this thing will just not be decade, but this will be generational. There will be someone else in succession. And there will be someone else in succession. Because they got it from a servant leader. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. If I could sing, I would sing this song. This is why I'm going to continue. This is why I'm keeping God's command. For a tie may testify for the Lord. It was in church as usual. But we see the power of God. And we see how God moves by confirming His word. So all we have to do is continue to trust God. I know that the same power, the same manifestation that was in the younger time. Jesus Christ said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. God never changed. I will thank God for the messenger, the message, and the message. Last night, we went high. Tonight, we went higher. So let us continue to trust God and to take him at his word. For we're not coming to the children's playhouse. We are coming to the church of Jesus Christ. And everything that is done in darkness is come to light. The writer said it shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory you will surely find. There is no more secret among us. If you hit the internet with your social security number, then no much conviction you have. Then how clean you are. And today let us continue to stay clean in Jesus. Walk right, talk right. For the preacher will get up in your business. Praise him, praise him, praise him. And if when you get up in our business, it's not that God don't love us. He loves us. And he wants us to Get right, stay right, live right, be right, walk right, talk right, for we are not doubting by the wayside. Holiness is right. Praise Him. We're going to move into our, we know they have to call afterward, our ordination and consecration. Please stand.